Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, it's the 12th of September. And of course, last Friday, we had a, a dramatic drop in the equity markets across the board. It's interesting to know, and what I bring, want to bring to your attention today is the fact that if we look back just not that long ago, right here, you can see we had a very similar occurrence when, boom, this is a Friday, big dramatic drop, very similar to this, not quite so big. And then Monday we were down, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we came back that week and actually made back everything that was lost the previous week. So is it going to play out this week? It'll be interesting to see if, in fact, that is the case. It's debatable at this point in time, but a couple of things I want to share with you that I think could happen. First of all, let's draw in our Fibonacci numbers. And that's we do that simply by clicking here, going from the highs, dragging down to the lows, which are right here, and that gives us some retracement points, 38.2%. We're very close to that now. And 50% and 61.8%. These are all Fibonacci numbers. Now, if we take a situation where we have a line here, we can just draw that across. This could be where we could see some support. And I think that's a reasonable number to look at. This is where the previous highs were there were resistance, but let's see how that does in fact play out. Generally speaking, support, resistance tends to become support. So we'll see how that works out for us. But generally speaking, the major trend in our trade triangles continues to be positive for the Dow. Pretty much the same scenario for the S&P 500. What's interesting, you can see we were actually given a signal beforehand. Let's just scope this into like a three month chart. And you can see our signal came in right here on the 1st of September, 11 days ago, at 2160, indicating to be moving to the sidelines on this index, particular index. And it's proven to be very, very fortuitous to do that. Of course, indicators aren't correct 100% of the time. If they were, then nobody would have to work. But the reality is they're very reliable, particularly our trade triangles, because you see here we moved up. We had a signal which came in quite a bit later. This came in on 7-8. Uh, this is July 7th. And here we are in September 1st, indicating to exit the position. So it was a nice move that we caught on the upside. So let's move on to our next index. This is looking at the NASDAQ. You can see quite clearly that, uh, that this is a sharp down move, but all of our trade triangles, the monthly trade triangle is positive. However, this weekly indicator was saying exit the market and I think that's exactly the way to be right now. Be on the sidelines and let's see what happens in this market. This is Apple. As you can see, we had a nice move up, but, but basically the world has changed. Apple is no longer the premier. It's a very good company, makes a lot of money, but it's not the innovator. It's not the cool factor that it used to have. It's lost that coolness. And of course, we've seen a move from, let's say, the 110 level down to 103. Not a huge move, but certainly one after they've just announced a major product upgrade, uh, the iPhone 7 and the new uh, watch and the new operating systems. It really didn't get the pizzazz and bounce they expected to get. So I think that's a little bit disappointing for Apple. I think what we have to look at now is to see exactly where this is going to land because the major trend still is positive for Apple from 104. You can actually get in at lower prices if you want to be a long-term holder. But for the moment, I think the best place to be is on the sidelines. You're below the 50 line. Of course, that's not a good thing on the RSI. So let's stay on the sidelines and wait for another signal on Apple. Now, gold is sort of come under a little bit of pressure. It's still below the 50 line. This is the December contract of gold we're looking at right here. And it's still below the 50 line. However, it seems to be sort of finding some sort of support. If we put our Fibonacci, a short-term Fibonacci in here, let's just scope this in a little bit further so we can get a really close look. And we go with our Fibonacci tool from the highs. Once again, just click here, drag it down to the lows. And you can see we've come back 61.8% which means it's probably in an area that you should be looking to be a buyer of gold. But for the moment, uh, let's just give this market some time. Uh, we both have the weeklies down and the dailies down, indicating you really should be on the sidelines in this market. We're below the 50 line, as I mentioned. So 
generally speaking, I think the best place to be at the moment on gold is on the sidelines until things begin to heat up and we make a turn in this particular market. This is crude oil. This is the October contract of crude oil. Uh, crude is a very important commodity. And you can see we're sort of just holding on here. We're sort of building this formation where we sort of we made the lows right here and just draw it like a trend line up here and a trend line down here. So we're sort of coming to a, a situation where we're going to make a decision. This market's going to make a decision. Either it's going to go continue up or it's going to continue down. For the moment, I think with our trade triangles, uh, let's just clear this off for a moment. And uh, let's just put our trade triangles on. We're sort of a mixed bunch. Our intermediate term trade triangle is positive, indicating the trend is still moving higher on the intermediate basis, but short term, it's negative. We have a minus 65 indicating a trading range, which I think the market's doing right now. We're just below the 50 line. And I think if we pop over that, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market actually go up in the next couple of days. But uh, we'll just have to be patient and wait to see what happens. But these are times when you should be very, very cognizant of what's going on in the market. Be very cognizant of the trade triangles because they really do work. So watch them clo closely and every success in your trading. Thanks for watching the video and thanks for being our customer. We appreciate it and stay tuned.